how to get social media marketing clients without cold calling. No, I don't waste no time. So guys, like I said in the introduction today, I'm going to explain to you how you can get social media marketing clients without cold calling. Now, for those of you that are new to the channel, my name is Joshua Daniel George, a social media marketer. I have been doing social media marketing for over four years now. And, you know, we've had 20K months, but we've also had months where we've been struggling. Uh, for example, with the coronavirus, we actually lost uh, three clients like within a few days because they were local lead generation clients that physically had to shut up shop uh, and then obviously there's no point in marketing this service on social media anymore if they are physically closed down but all in all you know we are a six-figure social media marketing agency and all of our clients um, have came through methods other than cold call them now one of my favorite methods of doing outreach is uh, cold email and the reason for that is because it's so scalable and so easily done so a few mistakes that i see a lot of businesses make or a lot of social media marketers make is when they do go for cold email they will send out emails individually and they'll spend a lot of time prospect them what i mean by that is they'll go onto their website they'll look around you know see if this is a right fit for the agency you know if it's someone that they can actually help etc then they will go and manually find the email add it to a list and then email that person individually now this is the worst way of doing outreach and uh, someone once said to me don't do anything that a robot can do and that has always stuck to me like that I think that is one of the most almost influential sayings I you know, actually it might have been Tim Ferriss who said it um, because when you are doing tasks you need to think to yourself okay is this something that I can automate yes or no then is it something that I can outsource yes or no and if you can't do any of the two, then think to yourself, okay, is it actually necessary for me to do this specific task? So when it comes to outreach, think to yourself, can I automate this outreach? So when you're, gener when you're gathering emails, you know, can you automate that or can you outsource it? Then when it comes to prospecting, think to yourself, is it actually necessary? Do I need to prospect all of these businesses before I actually add them to my email list? And you'll notice that or you'll realize that it's not actually necessary because the chances are that if you spend all this time prospecting these businesses, they mightn't even get back to you or they mightn't even be interested in your services. So with the prospecting, I always say to you know, I always say to my coaching students as well, keep the prospecting to a minimum. Just send out the blast and then once you've uh, gotten a reply, that is when you actually look, okay, can I actually help this business rather than you know, doing all this homework prior to sending out the blast. And for those of you who do not know what the blast is, basically um, the way we have worked it with our systems, etc., is we've built this process where the email scraping, etc., is all uh, outsourced and the email sending is all automated. So we've got like this hybrid system going on. And uh, for those that are in the coaching program, you guys will know what I'm talking about. And um, it's probably the most effective way of generating um, appointments as well as clients uh, that I've ever come across. You know, that is my uh, favorite way of doing outreach is cold email. Now, that is not to say that cold calling isn't effective. And in my opinion, it's dependent on who you are as a person. So are you extroverted, introverted, etc.? Do you like cold calling? For example, there's a few people in our coaching group that actually really enjoy cold calling and get a kick out of, you know, just literally getting that direct response from someone on the other side of the call. Um, and secondly, if your is your business um, a business that checks email, checks Facebook, checks Instagram, checks LinkedIn, etc. For example, what we've noticed um, is that, for example, car dealerships and dentists don't, uh, more often than not, don't check their Facebook, don't check their LinkedIn, and don't really respond to emails. Why? Well, just think, guys, like, a dentist is always in the practice 
treating patients. He hasn't got time to check his Facebook, etc. And more often than not, when you ring up, yes, you will get the gatekeeper, but if you can work your way around the gatekeeper, you can get in touch with the dentist. So that is just something that um, you need to just think logically about, okay? Is a dentist really going to reply to you on Facebook if he's busy uh, working on patients every single day? Okay, now with that said, um, the majority of niches and industries will reply via email, um, but it's a, it is a numbers game at the end of the day, and you will need to find systems and automations that make it possible for you to basically reach out to businesses at scale, okay? So it needs to be scalable, and it needs to be quick. You need to be able to do it uh, in a fast and concise manner and that is why I like I said you know we've automated this entire process and last but most certainly not least when you are doing the outreach with regards to email um, I recommend following a proven process and what I mean by that is when you send out emails again like I said we do not send out manual emails I do not type out emails manually to all of these clients or potential clients uh, we send that out in an automated blast. Yes, you know, we do make sure that it is uh, tailored to the business. So we don't send it where everyone in the CC, because I've seen people do that, like, guys, just don't. Okay, so don't don't have all the businesses that you uh, send the blast to in the CC, okay? So it does need to be an individual email to the business owner. And if it's possible, again, you know, you, you guys will need to figure all this out. Um, if it's possible try and get some kind of tailored message in the email. So what you can do, for example, is only reach out to one niche and make sure that that email is tailored to that specific niche, okay? So rather than just saying, I help businesses grow their business with social media marketing, you can say, um, I help dentists get more dental implant clients uh, on demand every single month, or something like that. Again, you know, remember, uh, what I've said in previous videos, it don't actually pitch your service in the email, but that is just a quick example, okay? So what I do recommend you guys doing with cold email is keeping it concise uh, and trying not to mention anything about social media marketing, about that you are an agency owner, anything like that, because guys, at the end of the day, these people don't care, okay? All these people care about is their business. So you need to come in at an angle that actually piques their interest and makes them think that, okay, you can be beneficial to their business. And sometimes, you know, because you got, I can see some of you guys sending emails and they are so long and, you know, you, you basically mention all the benefits of, of you as an agency, etc., and what you guys do, and then they won't get a response. And then you'll see some people send an email just saying, hey, um, is it okay if I drop you a quick message? You know, uh, you know, let me know what your number is or something like that. And these people get a response. Why? Because it looks like a human being has done it. It's quick, it's concise, it's to the point, and it piques their interest, okay? So to wrap the whole, like, sort of cold email strategy up, you need to find a way to automate the gathering of emails. You need to find a way to automate the sending of the emails. You need to tailor the message to the niche, keep it short and concise, and do not pitch your service, okay? Now, obviously cold email is not the only method of outreach that I recommend or that I've gotten clients with. Uh, for those of you that have been following my journey for longer, know that a lot of my clients back in the day came from freelancer websites like upwork.com, freelancer.com, guru.com, bark.com, uh, not bark.com by the way, I do not recommend bark.com, uh, what else did you have, peoplepower.com. And the great thing about this is that it's low hanging fruit. So these people are already on the lookout for someone to take over their Facebook ads, their social media marketing, etc. So all you need to do is convince them that you are the right person for the job. And the great thing of this is that you don't need to cold call these businesses and try and pitch them on that service because they understand that they need that service. All you need to do is convince them that you can get them to the next level, whatever that may be. You know, you need to find out what the next level for them is. What is it actually that they need help with? And then just mention that, okay, you can definitely help them with that. 
let's hop on a call and then on the call you can pitch your service okay so that is all i've got for today now for those of you that want my hybrid email outreach system or just want my help in general i do have my own coaching program where i literally show you how you can get clients how to get your first clients if you're just starting out or how to scale the business if you know you are already have a few clients and you want to go to that next level it'll all be linked in the description box down below i have a one-time upfront payment where you get lifetime access to everything or i have a payment plan where over the span of 12 months you can you know pay it off in uh, small chunks basically and get access to everything as well so if that is interesting to you, then I highly recommend you look at it. We've gotten a lot of great results for our coaching students. We've got a few people that have even hit six figures, even though they started from zero, which uh, I'm incredibly proud of. And you know, I can't take all the credit for it. Obviously, these people have put in endless amounts of effort and they have put in the work and they've used the systems that i've given them and they've just taken it to the next level so uh, like i said you know hats off to them i can't take all the credit for that all i've done is basically provide the blueprint and i can provide you guys with the blueprint as well so if you find that interesting make sure you sign up the link will be in the description box down below but for now i'm going to wrap up this video like this video if you got some out of it comment down below what you'd like to see from this channel next subscribe to the channel for more and i'll see you guys in the next video